Okay. So I finished making the uh, the division for the wings. That's that looks really cool. All right. So anyways, those are the wings, or will be the wings. Body. The wings come out uh, slightly above the breast, just just as planned. Those are gonna be some really big wings. All right. So the next step is to partially. Whoa! Where'd I go? Whoa! My camera's okay. Yeah. All right. So the next step is to partially unfold this section and make the fingers. And obviously, same thing on the other side right here. After that, I'm going to go ahead and um, spread this so it'll form the dress. And then, after that, I can get everything... Um, I can start pulling out layers on the hair. And then, once everything on the body is pretty well secured, I can start making the wings. So, I'll go ahead and make the fingers now, over here, and over here, and work on spreading the dress out, and then I'll be back. Okay, so, yep, that. Alright, so, on this side, that's a tasty roll. So on this side we've got um, a tapered dress, and it starts to taper right here, which is right at the uh, the hip. I haven't I haven't done it on this side yet. This is going to be all kinds of frustrating to do. So I put clothespins on the wings uh, here, here, and I just use a little clip to hold the back of the dress together. Um, so what this taper is going to do is, it's obviously it's going to make the dress look like an actual dress, but it's also, when you start it right here, that's going to make the, uh, it's going to make it easier to collapse this so it looks like she's kneeling, uh, rather than just has really short legs. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this on this side, and then uh, push this down a little bit, and you'll be able to see what uh, the, the uh, difference it makes. Okay, so I got the uh, the other side tapered like this. Now we can see how it, it sits uh, like that rather than, you know, up a little bit higher. It looks like she's actually kneeling instead of has midget legs. Um, so this in the back will be anchored shut uh, when I wet fold it. And then it'll dry like that and the hands won't move around so much. <clears throat> so it'll dry like this, and it'll actually look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start spreading some layers on the hair to actually make the hair look nice. <coughs> and then I'm going to go take some uh, some Pepto-Bismol to, uh, to fix that problem. And then <laughs> I'm going to, after I'm done... <laughs> taking those pills, <laughs> I'm going to uh, start pulling some, some layers out here in the breast. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you right before my battery runs out, um, how I make this kind of hair here, this hair here, this here hair. Um, we're going to take, I already sort, I started it over here, zoom in, just down, okay. So I started to do it over here, all we're going to do is grab this inner layer and pull on this outer layer here until it pops all the way out like that, and then we're going to just crimp this back a little bit. Alright, and then we're going to make a tapered crease that runs from about right here to there on the inside of this. Alright, 
So now we've got this little bit of uh, excess paper here. That's okay. We're going to fold that back and do kind of like a uh, a spread fold right there. And that's going to create this uh, or not a spread, a, a squash. It's, it's sort of like a squash fold right there and that will create this point. And we're going to do the same sort of thing on this side. I've already done half of it. So here is Actually, what am I saying? I got my terms mixed up. It's an inside reverse, inside reverse fold. That's what I meant. When I was thinking squash folds and spread folds. It's co completely different from what I'm doing. Okay. And then on this side, I'm going to go ahead and take this single layer of paper and pull it back gently. Bye. Battery said. <coughs> <clears throat> I gotta be kinda quiet. So here's one wing, almost done. Okay. And here's the back. Okay. I will make a separate tutorial on how to make wings like this. Um, but right now I'm in kind of a hurry. I gotta be quiet, so I'm not gonna explain how to do this right now. will form the heart. As soon as I get these hands, I need to spray this down like I dry over night. And then 